What's up gamers and welcome back to another episode of Temtem, the Pokemon inspired MMO that is currently in early access. Uh, last episode we didn't really do, I mean we did some rock climbing of course, but uh, we ran all the way over to, uh, I feel what this place is called. It's, um, one second, does it show it on the map? It, it does not know, it does not, it's like, it's the name that I can't pronounce. Let's just go with that. But we arrived here and we finally, uh, what's her, what's her name again? Um, oh my god, it's so, the controls are so sensitive. Uh, Ordea Ture. If you remember her, she's been in, uh, she's been helping us through, well, the story so far. But she, uh, she was one of the ones that went down with the narwhal along with us. And well, the narwhal is back up and running. So that's how she got over here. But we're currently on a, ooh, I didn't realize there was a chest here. We are currently on a mission to uh, get back the main city and we had to we have to go back we have to do the back way so we're going through this tunnel because pretty much we can't go there because the narwhal oh there it is uh, no that's not what it was don't worry uh, but yeah anyway what I was going to say is we can't go through the narwhal because then Bell Sutter will know we're coming anyway before we go in greetings called feet uh, why did I say greetings <laughs> getting called feet now move one Muanangu, come on, be brave for the sake of your friends. Addy, oh yeah, that's old man, I think. Oh wait, that's her grandpa or something. That's right. I, I, was, I thought he left. Apparently he's still here. It's not for us, eh? I have, uh, I have seen how you look at her. It's not like that. Sure thing. Uh, well, someone's a bit nosy. Greetings, fellow fighter. I'm Nakawa, and I'm Strife. Well met, Strife. It's good to have some Denisians with us. Your people are good with a water temp. I don't have any water. I have no, I don't. It's not even a water temp. It's electric. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to Tessa Desert. The other side is as different as Deniz as it as it ever gets. Believe me. Keep hydrated and watch your water temps closely. They get pancellation in a matter of minutes. I mean, I don't have any. Uh, some rocks, some fire. Remember, the desert tribes are mostly loyal, but watch out. There are Belsotto, uh, Belsotto agents everywhere, disguised amongst them. Be very careful. Well, anyway, let's go in. How big is this? Okay, get out of the screen now. I would like to see the map. I want to see how big this is. Oh, it's reasonably big. It's got some little cutoffs. There's more pathways we can take, but they're all just blocked off. I'm interested to see what else will come. Uh, please tread carefully. There could be ancient remains virtually anywhere. Uh, remains of what? Anything, really. But they're mostly looking for the things that keep over the millennia. Bones, pottery, shards, stone tools. So this is an important site. Precisely, as you probably know, the... Chining Grotto is the most ancient site known. These caves are the cradle of humanity. Yeah, what are you looking for? Anything really. Uh, we're mostly looking for the things that keep over... Okay, well we've just read all this. In the middle of this war, before the next war, after the previous war, if we forget our history to wage war, we will wage it again and again because it will... because uh, we will learn nothing from it. Uh... Do you know, uh, uh, my bad, I, <laughs> I woke up about half an hour ago, so my brain is still trying to kick in. Do you know how, what, uh, do you know how, what is most important discovery we have made here in the Chini Grotto? The one that really points towards the dawn of humanity. Uh, stone tools. That is an important find indeed, but I mean... The really easy evidence of civilization. Bones showing healed. I mean, I was considering going that. Fractures, Temtems and human bones. To be more precise, both humans and Temtems would have died from these fractures in the wild. These are evidence of care, of early human take, uh, taking care of fellow humans, as well as their first tame Temtem. The easiest bone pit we found here in the chi uh, Chini. Grotto, point to the very beginning of civilization. 
This guy just this, this is why you can't talk to old people in this game. They just never shut up. Without showing proper care for Temtem, we would have never learnt to uh, to tame them. And without showing proper care for our fellow humans, we would have never developed to this point. Uh, that's why, precisely on a pragmatic level, I'm proud of my people's ability to organize and fight a common threat. Of course, but these short-term concerns I leave to the dojo masters and tamers. As a historian, my job is to think of structures and long-term developments. The ability to stick together and preserve, uh, persevere in the face of danger is a symptom of resilience. That un underlining factor is more crucial than any single victory. Okay, can you shut up, old man? I'm about to crush all these rocks on top of you. It will come a day after liberation and a day after the day after. And the day, they, you know what, you get what I'm going. We will have to learn to care for each other in better ways. If we just go back to old ways, we will just repeat it all. When I look at those ancient bones, I think to myself, if Bolsoto prevails, uh, that is what we are going. Okay, can you shut up? Okay, he's actually starting to piss me off. He won't shut up. A time before care and compassion, robbing and mistreating each other as the only meaningless end of existence to uh the undoing of all the efforts hum grim human naturally today everyone is concerned about pushing the balsotto to retreat step after step it makes sense for the tamers to focus the fight at hand but like i said success in historic <laughs> please shut up you fucking old kook i'm about to crush you under the rocks i'm gonna get ten tail to attack everything above you but like I said, success in historical terms is something longer and more complex than battling, battle or campaigns. Uh, it's about what worldview emer okay, I cannot read today. Worldview emerges when the dust settles. We must win. We must do our utmost. It will take more than mere physical victory. Uh, is what I want you to keep in mind. Even if the resistance wins the war. Uh, be vigilant at least Clan Bosotto wins the peace but clear uh, clear be clear in your mind while you fight while you fight what you are fighting for may the ancestors be with you oh thank god you shut up you're so fucking annoying you talked literally he talked for five minutes or six minutes of that just wait a second, Boana. You should warn. Uh, we should warn you. Uh, this way is the Tassa Desert. It's not safe out there. Don't patronize him, Dina. If he made it this far, he probably knows what he's doing. <laughs> what your friend said. Apologies, then, brother. We try to take care of each other in these difficult times. Want to tempt him up? Yes. I mean, let's do something different. Let's tempt him up. Take our mind off the dangers for a minute. Eh? Sure, I can use some. Escapism right now? I have no idea what that word is. I've never heard that word in my life. Temtem's never gonna change, so it's got words I can never pronounce. Oh, it's got the fire lizard. I need to take the fire lizard out. He's such a pain in the ass to deal with. Going straight for you. Hopefully Tentel will evolve soon. I still wanna get his last form. I mean, obviously we've seen his last one. We've seen people just chilling with him out in the open. But I mean, I'm it, once I get him, we can have a closer look at him because we can only really see his ass. Because great, we're all gonna pick on Tentel, I see. Eh. You know what? We're gonna do this. I know it does no damage to them, but. If this isn't take out, take him out. Yeah, I didn't think it will take him out. So hopefully this will take him out. All right, I'll take that. Who's he going for? He's going for no one. Oh, he's just doing something. Oh, Nestle's on what? Who are you? Oh, wait. Yo, it's a bull. Wait, have we? I don't know if I've seen you. I think we've seen you out in the open, have we? Uh, 
I have no idea, but just, oh, wait, just stay on the safe side. I'm going to get you out. Uh, let's just get Volcrane. Volcrane can just take the damage. He's probably going to go down, but Volcrane's not really one I care about. I mean, I obviously care about him. I love Volcrane, but uh, he's definitely not our strongest. So he's one I can sacrifice. Damn, he's got evasion. It's going to be obnoxious. So he's doing damage to himself, so that's always a good thing. And of course I'm burned. Uh, you know, let's try and burn him. Why not? I mean, this isn't going to do anything to him. I've already accomplished that electric does absolutely fuck all to him, but who knows? Maybe Volcrane can do something to him. It cannot. I mean, he burns him. It, it's something. <laughs> they both, oh no, they're still standing. Not for long though. Nestle will be out pretty soon. I mean, you can't really do anything. I guess we'll just switch you out for Saku. I know Saku can tank him up, so that's... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what they're weak to. I don't know if I've come across it yet. I don't know what the bull is. I don't think I've seen the bull. That's why I don't really know. Yeah, he actually did some damage. Wow. Yeah, you can take out Volcrane. I really don't care about that one. Volcrane isn't really... Volcrane, none of his abilities are doing any... Oh, God, they really healed him up. That's annoying. He went back down, but that's still annoying. Guess Valash can. Yeah, let's do this. See if Tornado will do something. I doubt it. I don't know. I don't know what Tornado will do to him. We're about to find out. Let's say if you don't go down, that's going to be depressing. Will this do anything to Rhino Boy? Actually, did a fair amount. I was. Honestly, I think it'll do a lot less. Move flank? Oh, yeah, we've seen you. We have indeed seen you. Let's just focus this. Take him down first. Yeah, Valish is actually really fast. Okay, he does absolutely no damage to them, but he, he moves a lot very fast, which is good. All right. We've got one more left. Shouldn't be too I mean, I say that, but uh Who knows at this point? They all seem to be destroying me. Uh go big attacks, why not? Hopefully this could take you okay. Well I think Val oh, no, Valish is actually tanking up pretty well. No idea what that is. <laughs> he just gave me some luck. Wait, I wonder if I can check it. I need to check. I'm going to look at that. Ooh, we took him out. You know what? Before we move any further, I think we might as well... Actually, no, because I think we've got our Tem Essence. You're pretty good with your Tems, Denizian. Good thing you're on our side. Ooh, that's some money I'm looking for. You know what? Let's just use this. I want Ten Tail back. All right, let's keep moving. Wait, I wonder if there's new Tems. Didn't even think of that. Nope, looks like we're still getting Snake Boy. We haven't found a new Tem in a while. Any new Tems run? I feel like they're going to be rare. There's supposed to be 25 new Tem Tems. And from what I've counted, I've only got like 14. And that's including like the forms I have and their evolved forms. So there should be a couple more at least. At least like five more, surely. I'm just going to take Scrunch out because, I mean, it's just free experience at this point. I'm still trying to get Tentel up. I don't know when he evolves. Hopefully it's not all the way up at 60 because that's such a long distance. But uh, who knows at this point. But we got Nestle at 50, so that's always good. More trainers. We might have to run back uh, eventually to heal up because we don't have our 10 Essence sense anymore. Uh, this access is closed. The other side is too dangerous for civilians. I'll risk it. No, you won't. Not on my watch. Enough people have been hurt already. Turn back. You're going a bit too far, aren't you? Guan Doya? All he wants is to walk through. Silent. Turn back, I said, or else. Oh, this guy thinks he's tough. I'm about to make him cry back to his mom. Yeah, that dude has green hair. They're, they're both got dreadlocks. What do I have? Oh, no. 
Okay, we'll take out you first. I know you're not going to do anything, but I mean, this is going to do damage to both of them. We can, we kind of want to take you out first because you've got the burn, but you are also very scary. You are also very scary if you get your damage off. Get a little bit of damage to him. That's why we want to take him out. He's just going to keep powering up and that's not really something we want to do, if I'm being honest. Uh, I think this might do something. He's attacking Tentel. Okay, Tentel survived. Did a little bit of damage to him. At least we're taking out... We're taking out Ramboy, so we've got that going for us. We've got four Temtems though, so we will probably have to go back after this to heal up. It is fine. Oh, it's Lizard Boy. Oh, Lizard Boy just went turbo speed. No, okay. At this point, I guess we'll just focus. We're just going to do this. Any damage I can get off on, get off on him, I'll take it. Then there's going to be enough. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Tentel took damage from that. Whoops. Wait, he lived on one health, really? You're going to do me dirty like that? That's just rude. Uh... I guess we'll get Saku out. Saku's fine. I don't know what this lizard's weak to. I haven't gone up against this lizard. I've just seen him on rocks and shit, but I don't actually know what he's weak to. I guess we'll just experiment and see what he... Not eyes. Oh, we know his eyes moves too. I see you. Oh, we both need rest. Uh... We need to take him out. Oh, he goes for... Okay, well, he does no damage to Saku, so that's always a good thing. What's this? God, oh, they're picking on Nestla. A lot, too. Ooh, it's a Rikon. Okay. Well, this thing's going to be annoying. I just used my... Wait, did I? No, I think I still have it. Wait, we're going to do this. We're going to take him out because I know his burn is going to absolutely annihilate us. So hopefully this should be able to, uh, with Saku's attack, we should be able to take him out. Hopefully. Okay, good. Because he's our, he's our threat. Because uh, Gaio doesn't seem like he's doing much damage to us. Though I know Aslan can, so... uh. Might as well take him out when we can. Just switch you out. Like, we can't really do anything with you. Get yeah, Valash. Maybe Valash can do damage to him? Because Thunder doesn't do anything to him. He's just dodging everything. I guess we'll find... Ice doesn't do anything to him. But... Psychic didn't do anything. He just put me to sleep. That's all it did. Uh, well, let's try this. Why not? It's not like we have anything to lose at this point. He takes no damage from. Okay. He's not. He's not weak to crystal either. I have no idea what this gecko is weak to. Not a clue. Guess we just use this. I mean, he should go out soon anyway. He just doesn't want to... He's just hanging on. I don't think I have anything that can, is, that's strong to him. I don't even know what his nature is. Is he normal? He seems like he's normal, but... I mean, who really knows? What the? This is totally uncalled for, Guan Doya. Just calm down, man. Oh, Crybaby doesn't like being choked up. Oh, look at him mad. Yo, people can actually get in there? I can't. Alright, I'm going to quickly go back. I'm going to heal up my Thames because, as you can see, they're pretty low, and I'll be right back. Okay, just quickly, I, I, I've turned back a little a little quicker. Uh, running out of the cave, look what I found. I found my little gecko. He was, he was just chilling in the cave. So I wanted to show him. I mean, if I run back, I, uh, I probably would have forgotten. So, hey, look, he's... Let me go to him. 
He's earth and fire. He's got a perfect special defense, which is pretty cool. And tireless, which is prevents the over ex over exhaustion turn penalization. I think that means that he can't take damage when he's over his uh, mana. Maybe I, I could be wrong. I'm just going off by what it sounds like. Look at him. He's, he's so adorable. He's a little fire gecko. I probably will level him up at some point. I won't level him up now. But because I, I do plan on... I still do plan on doing the uh, competitive series of this. Uh, I'm, that is also on hold for a little bit until I get some Temtems worked up. Oof. Kueli has had me digging for bones for hours. I think I'm going to take a little rest, if you don't mind. You do that. There's so many things on the floor. Smoke bomb. Sense. Okay. Oh. Uh, hi there. Aren't you too young to be out here? <laughs> I'm already the best tamer in my village. Grandpa, perhaps you are too old for this. I'll teach you a lesson, you little bandit. <laughs> Come on, Grand. How am I Grand? I'm pretty sure I'm younger than you, you weird. I mean, she looks like, uh, Cora. Is it Cora? I think so, from, uh, Avatar. At least from the back she does. She reminds me of it anyway. Come on, Grandpa. I want to see you try and move those old bones. It actually is Cora. It actually is Cora. Wow. I mean, I could be wrong, but to me it looks very... Do you really think you're going to beat me with these little chipmunk Pokemon? Temtem? I mean, they're still little chipmunks. Gonna be easy downing. One's down. I mean, she's got level 28. I don't think she's really gonna have much of a chance beating us with such weak little Thames, but uh. She's got little forms. None of these guys are gonna do anything to me. Literally. You know what? I'm just gonna do it anyway. They're low level, who knows? I might be able to pull a. Uh, one shot out of my ass somehow. She's got all six Thames though, so that's... Okay, this one might be a little bit overkill. Wait, he did nothing. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> I think I healed it. Rip. Oh well. Oh, you I can take out. You are not an issue at all. You'll be one-shotted. I think Hidoti should be one-shotted. Yeah, just, I think. I think he would have... He was one tick over. I mean, that, I, I had no doubt. I knew I'd take that out. That thing has no chance of surviving. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. Oh, he's got carrot nose. Oh, lovely. It's just rest. I mean... Things are not going to do anything to me. Nothing. But you are weak to this. And... This weakling thought she was actually going to be a challenge for me. You should be picking fights with Tamers your age, you big bully. That is... Don't... You can't tell me that's not Korra. <laughs> that is 100% Korra. Uh, Alright, let's keep going. You guys are chilling here? Oh, ma'am? Maybe? Ah, uh, nice to be in the shade for a change. It's boiling out there. Uh, I'm heading out. Wear a hat and bring plenty of water with you. I don't want to sit there talking to her for too long. I feel like I'll be stuck there for like hours like the old man at the start. Nance was rather painful. Let's see, how big is this map? Once this thing goes away, I can check. Oh. Oh. Okay, that that that's a big map. We'll see. Also, these are random. We got quests to hand in. Everything. Damn. Wait. 
Hunt for three bells Soto. Wait, oh. I think I know what it means. I think that thing's just. I think the uh, track is going a little weird. I was getting confused because it, it's telling me that the track uh, the track is back in the cave. When I go out, it's telling me to go outside the cave. So I think it might be bugging out a little bit. I could be wrong, maybe not, but it just seems like it might be. Unless no, because I've talked to everyone in there. There the definitely isn't a spy in there. We could be running around here forever. Ooh, ooh, I can't even get down there. There's a cave. Let's go and check it out. Why not? I want. I'm wondering if we'll find anything new down here. That's what I am wondering. We've already got Feather Christmas. He's got just the red and green. I do. I mean, the fox is a little adorable. Or it's like a bunny. I, I mean, okay. I don't know what it is. Is there something in here? Because this feels like this should be something other than bunnies. No, it looks like this is just bunny territory. Bunny fox. I'm not sure what they are. They weren't all the other. That's one thing I am sure of. Not sure exactly what. Anyway. Give me my prizes. We've got smoke bomb and... Drought. Technique co uh, causes... Uh, core cause for drought a bone dry technique that leaves heavy temtem on the battlefield exhausted for two turns and tacker over uh over ex yeah over extended next turn okay i guess oh i feel like i'm struggling getting out of this cave these bunnies just really want to fight i'm about to take you out just for some training for tentel oh, can't get out of course i can't Oh, calm down. Yo, they're just picking on him. For, for, for just random side bitches. <laughs> they actually did a lot. Damn. No, let me get out of this fucking cave. I don't care for the fucking bunny. Go away, bunny. Don't you have friends? One thing I did not miss about this game, the fact that I can't move more than two steps without getting an encounter. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a long run out of this cave. Oh, look, there's another one. Is it another fucking bunny? It's another fucking bunny. I'm about to make this bunny extinct. If I have to, I'll come back here with a water type and I'll just drown everything. Also... The background has grass. I don't see no grass growing here. I mean, it's a little... Oh my god, please let me move. Please let me fucking move. Yo, it's Krabby Boy. Oh, I want Mr. Krabs. He's probably going to shit on my... Uh... Yeah, I'm sorry, but I have to take you out of here. You he might be a little bit in the way, my dude. I want Mr. Krabs, though. Can we get him a... Oh, he's little hell. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel bad for killing you. This is the thing I'm after. I need it. I'm just going to keep attacking it so I can get my health back up. Hopefully... No, I don't think Tentel will take it out. No, this will lower it, though. And we've got an extra... A little bit of extra healing. All right. Let's go for the capture. Tem card. We're just going to both throw Tem cards. If one fails, second one will go. Yo, we got Mr. Krabs. I need to name him Mr. Krabs. He has, he's earth and toxic. Uh, when applying a poison status condition, the target gets too uh, trapped for two turns too. Sounds okay. I I want to test that out in competitive. I feel like that because that crab does a lot of damn damage. Because we've seen it against the, when we versed the gym leader. Gym leader absolutely clapped our cheeks like a thousand times over because we just... Hey, I think someone's missing a car? How do you drive? How do you park it like that? Oh, it's a ramp. I thought it was like clouds. I thought it was going to run off into the abyss or something. 
Look how adorable little gecko is. His little legs just waddling around. Uh, I'm gonna check the map. Oh, we just completely ran out past someone. Dude, this place is so big. There's a quest over there, so we'll probably go and pick up the quest. Mm. We're going to run back down here. We'll go to this area first. I don't think there's going to be too much stuff just randomly lying around here, so... There are a lot of encounters, though. Oh, that, like, froze out for a second. Whoops. That was a little awkward. It's fine. Alright, so we need to get the map up again. The only way we're going to find this, guys, if we use the map. This desert area is so big. So we're pretty much on the right track. We just need to follow this thing around, pretty much. There's also something... Oh. Oh, it's VIP. So that must be one of the player housing, maybe? I have a contact. Ma'am, shall I stop him? Affirmative. We have orders to uh, monitor all suspicious movement in this region. You, stop right there. Stop, I said. Oh, they want to fight. So I'm going to go down there. I want to run down there. I want to see what that area is. I... Ooh. Psyduck on steroids. Let's go. I mean, I already know this doesn't do much, but... I'm just using this just to pretty much heal up Nestler. Because Nestler does need to heal himself up. God, I think that <laughs> okay, it didn't really matter at all. I still got absolutely annihilated. Uh, I guess we go Saku. I mean, Saku is usually the best choice because he's just tanky. Well, I mean, I could have used him on Snake, but uh, Tentel's got it covered. So we've got one more time after this, so... That. It's got Poison Fang. But that does a lot of damage to me. Ooh, but I did a lot of damage to you too, bitch. Mushuk? Oh, of course it's you. Why wouldn't it be you? I mean, I'm just going to attack you again. I'm pretty sure I move faster than you, so I should be able to kill... Psyduck on steroids before he attacks. And we took Mushu out, so that's good. Oh, he goes before me? Okay, I guess. Rude. That Hydro Blast with water. Oh, mean you're down anyway. Give me that experience. Oh, they both jumped up a lot. He's too much, ma'am. The, uh, the radio. Get me, uh, get me that radio. They don't get much money, though. That is a little unfortunate. Uhuru Command, do you copy? West Point here. We're overrun. We are falling back to the lake. Do you copy? Uhuru Command. Blasted thing. Oh, there he is. Bitch has been hiding this entire time. Well, well, Strife. I see you haven't lost your knack for knocking out Bolsotto partners. Carlos. You're right, partner. Happy to see you alive, too. Uh, what has taken you so long? Uh, eh, eh, excuse me? Oh, wait. I thought that was him asking me. I was like, bitch, I've been here longer than you have. I thought uh, we had lost you when I heard about the Narwhal and Tukma. What have you been up to? Just following the plan. Our plan. Or should I say, Tahini's plan. If you remember Omnesia, it feels like a year ago. I arrived in Uhuru just, be, uh, just before the Belsotto attacked. I had barely met my contact when we both have to go off grid. She put me in contact with the local resistance, so I joined them. And so did you, I suppose. My contact in the resistance has kept me abreast of the plans. <laughs> Sounds weird. They didn't tell me why, but here's their message. Once the coast is clear, meet the tusk in the northwest northwest canyon 
Does it make sense to you? Yeah, it's Operation Tusk. What's she? No. Tell me no more, Strife. I, I still have to cross Belsado's lines to get back to the Resistance. It might be a security risk. It's enough for me to know you're on a mission for our, for our common friends. We'll talk later. This time, priority is now. I always knew you would do the right thing when the time came, Strife, but I can't say I expected us to be fighting a war in Kasaiwa. Anyway, my job here is done. I'll get back to Uruhilaru. Hope I see you again, Strife. I swear, kid, this is the hardest case in my career. I've and I've had a few. Yeah, I know. I honestly, I was not expecting to see Carlos here. I was not expecting to see him. All right, I want to go down here and see what this PRP sign is. This might be a part of the player housing, maybe. Working progress. Okay, well, cost. You're not use. Listen, I I must be schnookered or something. I guess we're not a, uh not in Kansas anymore. Uh, who are you? And who are you? and who are your partner? Are we speaking like a who are you, partner? I can't I can't do the accent. You look like one of them vermins sure been hit with the ugly Says the guy with the bandage around his face. You are not Belsotto, are you? I ain't one of them alien vermin Vermin not me partner. Okay. Okay. Tell tell you what's what gonna get myself a bleep shotgun and a cold beer shoot the bleep out of any bleep vermin alien I find in my bleep way then fix the bleep buggy and get home. Okay, I'll get out of your way. Darn tootin' you better bleep at dude. <laughs> I'm gonna lose brain cells talking to him. Damn. That was a uh... Look at Mr. Krabs! He's not at the Krusty Krabs. He's just running around in the desert for some reason. Right. Let me get out of here. I don't want my... My tentail's so close to 52. I would rather him not go out now. Alright, so we took out one of them. Where's the next one? Next one... Actually, we've got a hill just over there. Go there, and then we're going to run straight... Okay, that was actually a lot closer than it actually looked. Also, he has a... um. I have to go back to the uh, starting area, because you get those in Deniz, the uh, purple ninja-looking dude. I know where to get them, but you haven't been able to get them before the rock climbing stuff. So now that the rock climbing stuff's in, we can actually get one. So I kind of want to do that. So I do actually, I, f I forget what his name is, but I do actually really like that, Tim. And I'm pretty, there's a costume for him that you can get your character to wear. Unfortunately, I, I think that comes in the battle pass, maybe when it, when that gets released. But, uh, God, this place is green as hell. Oh, there isn't even anything here. What is the point come down here? You know what? I'm going to run around here. Maybe I can get some encounter or something that's like special. This cave just seems like it's just completely pointless. Hello? Let me get at least one encounter. Come on. You seem to love giving me encounters every two seconds. Now that I want one, I can't get any one. There we go. I want to see if there's anything special in here. I came all this way for a fucking bunny. Okay, well, I'm out. I'm out. Have a good time. Because I can't be asked dealing with it. Nope. Alright, so where are we off to? We've got a quest there. We'll go and do that in a, in a bit. I guess we'll head down there. See, that's probably closer. You know what? We're, we're going to hand in that quest and go and do the one up top first. I think that one's closer than the one down. Then we can just run down. So we're just discovering this area too while we're at it. Because it's a whole new area. No, there isn't really much to discover. It's literally just bunnies. Bunnies and Mr. Krabs. So, uh, actually, on the map, it looks like it's a lot further away. But in retrospect, it doesn't actually seem like it's actually that long. What quest do I actually have in here? Lapid oh deep blue pigment made from finery uh finely ground Kasaiwen lapid lazuli. So that's what we actually need for the I know, I know where that what quest that belongs to. That was from the archipelago from Omnesia. 
There's a ran- ooh, there's random tens out here. What are you on, man? I'm sorry, stranger. Any other day I would have offered you some tea and dates, but it is not a good time, you understand? I do. Don't worry, sir. Soon we will smile again. Mark my words. Take care, young one. Come visit me when the war is over. You better give me something good. All right, there are people here. They don't let me play with the Thames in the desert anymore. This ware is boring. Look at all their little... They don't let me play with the Thames in the desert. Okay, well, you are li- Oh, because I talked to him. Psst, you, get out of there. You can't- uh, They can see you any minute. Who? The Belsotto, silly. Where? Just east of here. One of them spy towers. Just leave. Is there not a quest here? Where is my- Oh, it's over there. I want to go and pick it up. We're going to go and get it. Because who knows when I'm going to get my lazy ass all the way back out here again. This place is way too big. I'll probably never come back. The only time I ever come back here is, is if I'm trying to get a competitive crab. Because obviously you have to farm all the perfect nature, uh, all the perfect stats. So uh, I'll be back here to get all of them eventually. Probably not for a while because I do know who I want to work on first. I think I pass it. Wait a second. I am so lost. Is this quest like bugged out or something? There definitely isn't anyone around. Unless I'm just going crazy. One second. Let me look at the map again. It says there's a quest here, but it does not. There was the old man that just went past. It was you. Alright, so I can't pick up that quest till after I've done the uh done this war. Alright, I guess that's something I'm coming back for then. I've talked to him, but he says I can't do anything until after this war, so I guess I'm waiting. Not really much I can do about that one, unfortunately. Yeah, apparently since Kasaiwa came out, there's actually a lot of new <laughs> Look at him little gallop. It's so adorable. Apparently there's a, like a lot of the like previous maps, like Deniz and all that, they have new areas opened up now that we've got the rock climbing thing, so I think in our last episode, we might go back and revisit all those places that have a rock climbing area and we'll see what we can get because I'm sure there'll be new Temtems there. They're like hiding. Maybe that's why we can't find a lot of the new ones. Maybe because they're hiding out there. Okay, I literally moved one step. Can we not do this? <laughs> go away, Mr. Krabs. Go make some more patties or something. Let me move. You obnoxious crab. I have a job. <laughs> oh my god. If this is fucking Mr. Krabs again, it's gonna be the bunny. Oh, okay. I'm fine with you because you're adorable. And I can't stay mad at you because I mean, look at your big fiery eyes. Well, it's actually your fire cheeks and your big puss in boots. Cute in his eyes. Alright, let's go. Halt. Who goes there? Is that a res uh, resistance fighter, you think? Just kick his ass and be sure. This is supposed to be a resist, uh, restricted zone, Belsotto personnel only. You have two people holding it, and you're about to get beaten by a kid. Ugh, why do you all have Crystal Boy? This thing annihilates me. Oh, we're both switching out. At least 10 tellers. You know, I'm gonna put... Uh, you know what, you might actually be fine, actually, because I'm pretty sure I still something to you. Never yeah, gonna get Saku out though. I just want to keep Tentel alive. That was Kinu, not Saku. Well, Kinu might get one shot. Maybe. Grandpa. Lost his speed. Uh, of course you go for my poor innocent little Kinu. Well, anyway, we can heal Nestla. Alright, I want to test this. Does this do anything to him? It does not. I thought you were weak to ice. Okay, I don't know what that thing's weak to. I really don't. I mean, it damaged itself, so I mean, I'll take that one. Ugh, they're both painful. 
They're both really painful. Let's just use this. We just need to get some damage off on him. I really, I, I actually have this Tem. I might level it up because it is a very tank. It is very scary and actually pretty tanky. It's actually terrifying versing it. Ooh, Tentel's 52. Will it be enough to evolve him? Knocks a lot. Oh, it's Play-Doh Head. I love Play-Doh Head. Play-Doh Head looks sick. All right, we're taking you out. I, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't want you anywhere near me. All right, yeah. Uh, Nestle might go out here, but I, I need I'm just gonna do as much damage as possible to Nox uh Noxolotl. Or I call him Plato Head. Okay, that did nothing to him. I don't know what Plato Head's weak to, I'm gonna be honest. Well, Nestle's out. So that is unfortunate. Uh this is Tentel. Why not? We should be able to take him out, hopefully. That's Riker. <laughs> Aslan, no. Bad Aslan. I'm taking Aslan out. Aslan is a lot more of a threat than Plato Head. Definitely a lot more of a threat. And he doesn't go down. Well, that's great fun to know. Oh, he got just mega attack boost. Oh god, no. That's something I don't want to deal with. Uh, I'm gonna have to go him. He took down my thing and he just got like a mega power boost. <laughs> that is the last thing I want to deal with here. This is gonna use the weaker one. He's gone regardless. God, he just goes fast. So he got speed and attack from that. Oh my god. Goodbye, Asland. That's actually a rare Tem to get. Because you can only get one of that Tem Tem. The only way you can get more of him is if you breed him. Oh, you're asleep. Get wrecked. Oh, he's got the damn healing. Yeah, the only way you can get uh, Asland is if you breed him, so... Because you only get one of him from the store from the story. He get uh, you free him. We're gonna have to actually no. We've got to mess him, so we're fine. We don't have to go back and heal yet. He's asleep too, so we don't really have to worry too much about him. Now we will find out. Is fifty two when he evolves? Is it fifty two? The moment of truth must be a resistance for sure. Alarm, sound the alarm. Hey, give me that money. I'll take it. We still don't evolve? What level do I damn evolve? <laughs> I think the last time I evolved was like level 20 or 30 or something. What, am I going to go up all the way up to like level 80 and still be fucking second form? This sector has uh, was supposed to be safe. Run, we must alert the HQ. Man, y'all run so fast. Wait. Heal time. And more Tam Tam time, apparently. Mr. Krabs and Little Gecko. Yeah, this, uh... This whole island is definitely bringing a lot of more... Uh, a lot... A lot of more... A lot more stronger Tems. So I'm actually wondering, uh... How well the, uh... Competitive will go now. There's definitely been... It definitely is a boost. Alright, so we're going down there now. I guess we just... It don't matter because we're stuck. Because Mr. Krabs can't get enough of us. <laughs> he just will not go away. <laughs> Leave me alone. You're as annoying as the bunnies. Oh, and now he's going to just... Oh, he's taking a rest. You do that. Now that uh, Mr. Krabs seemed to have to rest a lot. He must... His moves must be a lot of... Uh... Oh. Yeah, what is that? What is this? Why is it plopping? Uh, good day to you, Belsotto. I'm with the Resistance. I know. We got word from Upanzini. How can I assist you, friend of Kasawa? Have you seen Belsotto spies? Don't turn around now. But yes, they have They have a watchtower north of here. 
and another one to the south past the oasis near the lake just a couple of them in each one nothing you can't handle i'm on a mission i don't know what that okay we're just gonna follow the lake then maybe i'll get less tem oh maybe i'm not following it anymore because it's already oh wait are you someone oh, no you're just someone training I wasn't sure if you're like an NPC I could talk to. This place, there seems to be only a few NPCs around here. There isn't really that many. Uh, ooh, we got a little village. With no P. Oh, there is one person here, don't worry. Well met, my friend. Anything I can help? Uh, any Belsodas around here? Yes. They have a, an observation post south of this oasis, but you didn't hear it from me. Travel, uh, my friend, and avoid the Ogechi. I trust. Is there anything in here? I think I'm probably not. There's not as much as there. I think at least this way. I mean, this seems. Oh. More people. Are you the res uh, are you the resistance agent? Yes. What's your info? Knew it. The general will surely give me a nice reward for your Thames. Akaska yells me. You think you're gonna take me on with these little pipsqueaks? I don't think so. Pretty much one shot one of them. I'm just gonna do this. Nestle keeps getting healed oh, this way anyway. He thought he's gonna steal my Thames with that. It just got one shot. And that thing almost got one shot as well. Karen? Ooh. See, that name looks like Karen. <laughs> I will name it Karen if I ever. Actually, I have one. So it's just there of all forms. Thanks it up. Little goatee still goes down, and I still get my healing bag. Stone ball. Yeah, that claps me. It really does. Mean. I give him credit for trying, at least. That's all that matters. Hey, that thing's actually pretty fast. It, out it actually outsped Tentel, because Tentel is actually pretty fast. He usually outruns most people. Oh, well, Karen's out. Goodbye, Karen. Ooh. He's going to rest. I don't... You know what? Let's do some damage with Nestler. Nestle's fine. I doubt it's going to go out. Yeah. Didn't think it would. And now we take it out. And then you can just rest. Okay, you go faster. I see, Mr. Show Off. Actually, I knew that. I, I don't know why I wasn't really more careful of that. It's fine. I'm only here to protect Tentel. I'm still trying to get him to evolve. I will get him to evolve. Ooh, though he did get the solo experience. Uh, I'm sorry, just trying to make a living here, okay? Now I should take your Thames. JK, I don't want them, they're too weak. Mine are stronger, so I don't want your shitty little Tem Thames. I got my own, I can make them stronger. Alright, let's. Oh, I want to run. This is a quick way. I always go. Of course, I'm stuck. This little fucker wants to hold me hostage. Go away, bunny. Look how adorable his little attack is. Let's say, if I'm still stuck here after this turn, I'm just going to run them both down. There will be no mercy for either of you two. Alright, no, let's keep going down. Where we need to go? Hey, you don't look like any of those tri tribals. Must be the resistance spy. Let's kick him out of here before he runs back to their leader. 
uh, who is kicking who out of here exactly? <gasps> Ooh, that see that there is one of my favorite Thames. I mean, come on, look how bad Ozzy looks. Goodbye. Be honest, I've not seen a uh, sight. Oh, me. He just looks like uh, what's he's called from Pokemon. Uh, I forget his name. Farfetches. Well, uh. God, he always one shot me too, damn. I mean, Psypat's out, so that's one less we have to worry about. You know what? We're just gonna switch you out. Uh. I mean, I, I don't know how to take out NYCA boy. So you can make. I've seen some really cool fan art with M MYX. Some people have some really cool designs with him. <laughs> I mean, did absolutely fuck all. I mean, you have to rest. You can't even do anything as much as I wish you could. Yeah, take him out. He's not going to do much for me at this point. Dude, we might be forced to use revive. Actually, we still have Kinu. Saku's tanking up at least. So that's a good thing going for us. We take him out? Hopefully. Yes, okay. We took him out. That means that's both of his Tim Tams out, which means we only have to focus on one guy now, which is what we want. You know what? I'm just going to use Volcrane. Volcrane won't go down pretty fast, but if I can get some burns off on him, I'll take... Wait. He's using the other guy's Tams? Oh, well, that's just rude. Hmm. Guess we'll take out you, because I know you're weaker. Burn should help out a little bit. It's just a little extra poke. I mean, I already knew Volcrane's not going to do anything. He's too low level. Like, I mean, he's like half their level. Let's use another one. That should take him out. Then we only have to focus on one after that. Ooh. Saku's in trouble now. Oh, do not. You little dick. He went straight. He went for no, leave him alone. Oh, he took a lot of damage off that. Hey, I'll take that. I will take that. Do a tentel, and I want to leave tentel for like a last resort. So right, beta burst, take you out, and let's just try and get a burn on you because you can't attack me this turn. Used a lot of your MP last game. All right, you're out. Easy. MYX is the... Oh, so you're weak to fire. Got it. Good to know. Oh, me, you leveled up. Hey, I'll take it. Though you still have very weak moves. It's a little unfortunate, but it's fine. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go and heal after this because we don't have our Tumescent's Vial anymore. Damnation. Fall back. Fall back. Hey, give me that almost 800 panzums. Ruchita Uhuru. We must warn the general. The resistance must be prepare, uh, must be preparing a land offensive in the Tassa Desert. And that was the last of them. Now the resistance should be able to move troops to the Tassa Desert without the general knowing. Time to move on to whatever that operation task uh, tusk of Adia is she said to meet her in the northwest canyon well before we do any of that I can't get down this cliff we're gonna go and heal definitely do need a healing I see it I see it please don't get me stuck <laughs> please don't get me stuck Let me escape. Don't be mean. Oh, there we go. Good, Mr. Krabs. SSSS because. Oh.
All right, we'll probably go over to uh, let me go over to the map. Where are we going? All right, we're going to go over here and then we'll probably call it there for an episode. I mean, all this is all blocked off. But this all requires a surfboard from the looks of it. It's all water. So this whole area looks like it's just going to be some giant water area. So yeah, we'll go over here and then we'll call it there. I mean, we've done, we've done a fair amount. We have done a fair amount. Just when I think this I this island's almost finished, they seem to add in a whole new area. So I reckon we still have maybe one or two more episodes before we're at the end. Well, until the the playthrough's back on pause again. It's fine. I mean, okay. Well, since this came out, I don't think we're going to get another island for a, a, a fair while. But uh, hell. Heads up, Captain Astrabel Soto. Who me? Yes, you. I will protect Operation Tusk with my life. First step: don't just burst out the code name. Oops. Uh, have have at it. Some guy just literally just blurts his. <laughs> he's just. Oh, he's got Bull Boy. Okay. Also, I should probably get rid of Nestler at this point. I don't know if there's anything wrong with it, but I mean. Well, I just realized level 63. The fuck? Well, I better get good exp- Oh, okay, you're weak to mental. Good to know. You are weak to mental. And he doesn't even get to attack, which means... Free KO and free experience. So I'm on- I'm down for that. Give me that juicy experience. Let's see how much we get for taking down Bull Boy. 1,000. Fine, funny. Guess you are resistance. Impressive moves. You big baby. Here comes Strife. Atta boy, the captain said you were helping us. It is an honor to have you back on board. Matthew, you're back. Atta boy, Strife. The captain said you would be joining us for a secret operation. It is an honor to have you back on board the new and refurbished Narwhal. Who's the random kid? Strife, you're alive and well by the Solaro. What a relief. I don't remember him at all, I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember him. I'm sorry, bud. You mustn't have been too important. Whatever happened to my crew? Strife, just waltz it in and you all drop everything to... Ogle? Ogle him? This is no excuse to stop working. Hmm. Stop distracting my sailors with idle chit-chat chatter. Idle chit chatter. I suppose you took care of those spies at least. I did. What's the plan? We haven't been sitting on our asses while you clean the desert. Captain Collie and his men are hiding near Uhuru, waiting our signal. Our men in the city, Carlos, has found a good spot for the airdrop. We sh uh, and we an airdrop. Hey, I'm down for that. Operation Tusk, my friend, and re the return of the Narwhal. You, me, and Matthew will use this fine ship to infiltrate Uhuru? Just the three of us against the whole Belsado army? Just the Belsado army against the three of us? Ha, <laughs> yeah. We have just a few hours until the Belsado send more spies to the Taza Desert. We'll fly the Noal to the blind spot located by Carlos and we'll drop into that city behind enemy lines. I'm going to skip this whole little water area, I guess. We have to be fast. No, I can't stay there too long. Uh, then we move as stealthily as possible through Uhuru. I know the way. Then we're on our own inside the city. It's called Operation Tusks. Tusk. Because we're the very tip of the attack. First in, last out. That's what she said. Uh, it, it had to be done. We need to be quiet and as fast as possible. Find the gates of my... Uh, Find the gates of Mines of Mictalan and open them. And then, as soon as they see our signal, Captain Collie's guards will storm the city gates. Sounds like a big fight. The Battle of Uhuru Strife. We, we join the main resistance force and do our damnest to take the whole city before the Belsoto can organize their defenses. Uh, what if it works? The Bosoto will be totally routed. Our final goal is to capture their general to make sure they never return to Kisaiwa. 
Mark my word, landlubber. Today the Belsoro shall fill the sharp tusks of my narwhal. Free Kasawa! Long live the resistance! Uh, that's the briefing. Get ready, strive and report uh, and report for duty when you want to proceed. Alright, well I think... Well, this thing thinks otherwise. Mr. Bun- Oh, it's Mr. Krabs. I thought it was Mr. Bunny coming and say hi. It's like, no. I don't need you. Goodbye. That's it. He's not going to let me run, is he? But no, he is. But there we go. We've got the Narwhal back in action. Not, let, let's get a cool picture here. That we can use for a thumbnail. And well... Tentow didn't want to cooperate for the most part. But anyway, that is going to do it for today's episode. Tomorrow we will be taking on... We'll be taking the fight to the Bel Soto. We'll be taking on the entire city, the whole clan. I think it's going to be a it's going to be one sick all out war. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, if you're new to the channel and want to help us out, we're slowly climbing up towards 100 subscribers. We're currently at 65. Yeah, I think 65, which is absolutely insane. To all you amazing people who have been subscribing, liking, commenting. Uh, I've noticed a lot of you have been watching the Temtem. I hope you are enjoying it. If if you picked up the game and you've been playing it, tell me who's your favorite Temtem. In the comments but yeah until then until next time take care and peace out